And now with details of any further details, we're joined by Kim Jian at the News Centre who's been following this uh, tragic disaster for us for the last couple of days. The confirmed death toll, unfortunately, rose overnight. Jian, give us the latest numbers. You're right, Mark. The total confirmed death toll has risen to 25. The identities of 10 more bodies have been confirmed, and eight were high school students. That puts the death toll for students from Tanwon High School at 12 so far. Now, of the 16 bodies recovered since overnight, 6 p.m. Thursday, 10 are female, 6 are male. The Coast Guard discovered the bodies in the open ocean and assumed they floated out of the ship as the tide shifted. Most of the deceased were wearing life jackets, and one woman who is in her 60s was even wearing a bicycle helmet. And do we know any more about what was happening inside the vessel at the time it started sinking? Well, it has been revealed that a control center based in Jeju Island sent a warning to the ship telling it to evacuate all passengers immediately. This came four minutes after the first distress signal was sent out by the Seolho ferry at around 8.55 a.m. Wednesday. But no passenger in the ferry tried to escape the vessel for more than an hour. This is because an announcement sent by the crew members of the vessel telling passengers to stay put, that it was too dangerous to move around. Students were seen wearing life jackets but were just waiting inside the ship. This likely contributed to a much higher death toll. But the investigation into what happened is still on ongoing, with Lee jun the captain of the ferry, being the focal point right now. It's been looked into whether he and around 10 of his crew members abandoned ship. Back to you, Mark. Yes, we've seen the video of him uh, cowering in front of the cameras, answering police questions. And I think we can all take that as a valuable lesson. But what should captains of passenger vessels do in times like this? And what should we do as passengers? Well, for starters, Captain Lee and his crew should not abandon the ship without making sure the passengers were safely off. This is clearly laid out in a manual in the Seolho ferry and the steps to take for crew members in case of an emergency. In the manual, it states that the captain and the crew members should have an announcement to the passengers explaining what was happening to the vessel and what they should do to escape to safety. And then the crew members should have stayed put to make sure that everyone on board is on life vessels before leaving themselves. But as you can see, not one of these regulations was followed by the captain and the crew members of the Seolho ferry on that fateful day. Yes, just one life vessel was deployed when the, uh, sh the ferry went down. And we hear that the authorities have raided the headquarters of the ferry company. That's right, Mike. Local authorities have conducted a seize and search at around midnight on Friday on the offices of the Chongyejin Marine Company in charge of the Sewa Ho Ferry. The joint investigative headquarters received computer files concerning the ferry and with the infor information retrieved, the authorities are to look closely into why there was an abrupt change in the ferry's direction. This is being looked at the main cause as to why the ship went down. And there's also been some texts that were sent out uh, in recent hours that are taking extremely cruel advantage of this awful tragedy. Well, with the nation's focus on the rescue efforts, the government is warning about a text scam. And it's falsely indicating that it's a message from Yonam News Agency. And it includes a link to a video of the rescue operations at the site where the ferry is located. Smartphone users who click on this link, a malicious app is installed that will leak their personal information embedded in the device. It then induces the users to install a fake banking app that will then extract financial information of the users. It is not sure how many are affected by the scam at the moment, but the government is trying to prevent further spread of this text and plans to distribute a vaccine to the users. Mark? Yes, yeah, truly un unbelievable that people can take advantage of such a, a horrible uh, event like this. Now, the ferry disaster is being extensively covered, as, as I'm sure everyone knows, by the foreign media as well. What are some of the responses to this tragedy from foreign countries? 
Well, U.S. President Barack Obama sent condolences to Korea and especially to the victims of the ferry disaster and says he will pay tribute during a visit to the country next week. President Obama adds that the United States has an unwavering commitment to its ally in good times and bad and says U.S. Navy personnel are at the site to help with the rescue operation. Also, the head of the British Foreign Office, William Hague, sent his condolences to the Korean people, especially to the families that are waiting for news of their missing loved ones. Hague said British government will provide support in any way it can. Also, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi also echoed those sentiments in similar comments. Back to you, Mark. Yes, the victims and the missing in everyone's hearts around the world. Thank you, Gion, for that report.